गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट कंटिन्यूइंग आवर चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर थ्री फाइबर टू फैशन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडी अबाउट द वूल नेचुरल फाइबर्स सच एज प्लांट फाइबर्स एनिमल फाइबर्स एंड इन द एनिमल फाइबर्स वी हैव स्टडी अबाउट द वूल नाउ टूडे हाउ द वूल इज फॉर्म ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द शेप्स वी विल स्टडी नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रियरिंग ऑफ द शेप्स एज वी नो द शेप्स आर द मेन animal that gives us food the seeds in our india mainly reared in jammu and kashmir region himachal pradesh uttarakhand and arunachal pradesh region but it also reared in our rajasthan punjab haryana and gujarat region but mainly they are reared in jammu and kashmir region since their food wool obtained from the sheep is very good quality is of very good quality next food the sheep generally they are herbivores so they take grass and the green plants but it also needs the healthy food so that their hair becomes healthy strong and the shiny in appearance so they also feed by the protein rich food such as pulses corn jowar oil cake etc oil cake means those from which we extract the oil and after extracting the remaining are the oil cakes which can be feed to the grazing animals now the processing of fibers into the wool how the fibers which we obtain from the sheep get converted into the wool we will study in the in this process actually the process takes uh, is followed by various steps and these are the steps first of all shearing then breeding and sorting then cleaning and scoring fourth one carding and then the spinning and weaving in this way we will obtain the wool from the fibers the first of all the shearing shearing is the removal of the fleece from the organisms or animals body the fleece are the soft hair which are present on the under coat of the sheep's hair so that are known as fleece and the process of removing of the fleece is known as shearing generally it is done in our winter season now the shearing sorry generally it is done in our summer season now spring season with the help of the manual razor special creepers or blade this shears helps them to get rid from the excess hot during the summer days as their woolly coat is so much warm so to get rid of from the warm they need to be sheared and so it helps the sheep to get rid from the heat next grading and sorting this is the second step of the process in that according to their grades means according to their texture and coarse we will sort out the fibers so that the good quality of fibers can be separated out and that process is known as grading and sorting after that cleaning and scoring in that the actually the wool woolen fibers we get from the sheep are for the removal of the dirt or grease the process of removing of dirt and grease from the woolen fibers obtained from the sheared wool is called as cleaning and after that when it is washed it is washed in the alkaline solution this alkaline solution contains the alkali so and the soda gas this alkaline solution is used for cleaning or washing the woolen fibers obtained after the shear shearing that sheared wool is first being cleaned and after that it is washed and the process of removing of the excess water from the sheared wool is known as scoring that by the use of scoring machines we will remove the excess water from it and it is this woolen fibers after the scoring it is get uh, mixed with the oil or it is furnished by the oil so that it becomes so much shiny in appearance next the carding carding means this after the washing or scoring the fourth process is carding in this carding process we will pass the sheared wool through the metal teeth after that spinning and weaving spinning after that the sheared wool is get converted into the balls and this balls is 
transfer to the industries or factories. In the factories, it is being by the use of the weaving machine or spinning machine. These fibers can get converted into the thin yarn, and this thin yarn is being used for making the fibers. And these fibers are used uh, after knitting. They are used for making the fabrics. That is the spinning and weaving process. Now the use is of. In our India, the, if the wool is of good quality, then it is used for making the sweaters and shawls. But it is a uh, rough and coarse quality, then it is used for making the blankets and carpets. Also, the wool can be used for making the soundproofing. Next, health hazards of the woolen industry. The people who are working in the woolen industries, as they are coming in contact with these uh, animals. Of means our sheep. So in the the diseases which can which are commonly in our these animal sheep. So the people can get affected by the disease such as the shorter diseases or such as anthrax. These are the common diseases present in the sheep. Next, the people working in the woolen industry are also can suffer from the respiratory diseases as these woolen fibers. The small amount of the woolen fibers can be inhaled inside their body, and so they can suffer from the asthma and other respiratory diseases. I hope you are able to understand. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay home. Stay safe.